G'day and welcome back to the channel. Well, some very interesting news on the wires today. If you go to Google News and type in drone, then select past 24 hours. These are the three top stories that I can see on my page. And we've got The Verge covering this, Wired UK. I think they were the original covering. I think Verge basically just leached off that story, came, took a few quotes out of it. And then you've got New York Post also wading in. So let's take a look at The Verge's one because it's got a really good quote and it's easy to find. Anyway, their headline's also really good. They say, Amazon's drone delivery program won gigantic oversell, says report into UK operation. And basically what's happening here is that they're winding down the UK drone Delivery operation. It wasn't a delivery operation. It was a trial. They were testing stuff out, and, and you know it was a, a trial program for drone delivery. And they did it in the UK because they said the regulations were more suited to what they wanted to do. It was easier to do it in the UK, so they set up a team there to conduct trial drone deliveries. And they've been doing this for quite some time. And despite all the promises, they have not delivered on the promise of being able to get your smartphone out, call up the app. Click buy now and have whatever you chose delivered to your own doorstep in just a matter of minutes by drone. It hasn't happened, despite the promises. And there's one really good quote here that I think is well worth highlighting. And it says, everything started collapsing inwards because they, Amazon, piled too much on. They put people in charge who didn't know anything about the project and they oversold. And this is the really good bit. It's one gigantic oversell. Just so many promises that can't be kept. And I think that really sums up the whole consumer drone delivery market in a sentence, in a phrase even. It is just, this is what we've been told. We've been promised so much and delivered so little. And in and of, in and of itself, that's not such a big deal. But we have seen a hobby dismantled, decimated by regulations because politicians, and they're dumb as a sack of rocks, politicians and regulators have believed what they've been told by Amazon and other companies allegedly going to start drone delivery services real soon. And it's all rubbish. This drone delivery thing, it, if anyone had taken the time to look at the, the economics, just even the basic economics of consumer drone delivery as sold to us by Amazon, they would have realized this was not going to be economic to do. And companies like Amazon, they're all about money. They're not going to do something if it's not going to make them money. Now, Amazon have spent so much time and money on this drone delivery thing, because it's marketed them. It's put them in the headlines. It's kept their name high on your mind because every day you read about, oh, Amazon drone delivery trial, Amazon drone delivery trial, Amazon's gonna do this. It's nothing to do with delivering products by drone. It's all about getting free column inches in newspapers, free minutes on television, free coverage in web news organizations. It's all about the hype. It's all about the pitch. It's all about marketing. It's not about delivering by drone because delivering by drone is not economic. You can't run a service which is really dictated to by the vagaries of the weather. You can't do drone delivery if in a gale force wind, and you can't do drone delivery if it's really bucketing down with rain. That happens a lot, and with climate change coming along, it's gonna happen more and more often, so drone delivery becomes less and less viable the more you look into it. So Amazon has just used this as a way of getting their name in the headlines you know, regularly. It's, they've got hundreds of millions, perhaps billions of dollars worth of marketing exposure for a few hundred or a few tens or hundreds of millions of dollars of investment in a, a never-to-be drone delivery program in the UK. It's been a, it's a marvellous marketing success from Amazon and they are very good at that, but it's nothing to do with drone delivery. But it leaves us with a whole bunch of politicians and regulators who've got egg all over their face. They've said, oh, Amazon are going to deliver drones, deliver by drones. We need to clear out the airspace. We need to make room for these Amazon delivery drones that will soon darken the skies with their presence and provide, you know, sub our delivery from anywhere to anywhere with you know anything you want to choose off Amazon. It's not going to happen, people. But politicians hate to be embarrassed. They hate to be embarrassed. They are, they're always right. They, they'll say, no, no, Amazon have simply retrenched their development a little bit, but other companies are still working on this and we're still right behind the concept of drone delivery. That's what we'll hear from our politicians. The regulators will say, we must still make way for these drone delivery drones. The skies must be clear so they can operate safely above our heads without the risk of colliding with these reckless recreational model flyers and recreational drone users. They are a problem. They're going to bring down airliners. You know what? You know the hype. You know the hype. So the rhetoric will continue. It won't change yet. It will change in a few years time because it's been my experience. And as I say, I, I am an old man. Uh, I've seen politicians never like to admit their mistakes. That, that, that's 
that has a huge penalty in terms of um, being re-elected. If you say, oh, I've done something wrong, people are going to go, we're not going to re-elect them because they did something wrong. So they'll say, we've done the right thing. We're, you know, don't worry, we're doing the right thing. Until they get elected out or voted out, and then the new people come in and go, those previous politicians, they were terrible. Look what they did. We're going to change that. So until there is a change of government in various countries, we're not going to see any change to this attitude of drone deliveries will save the world. So don't expect overnight changes. But this is the start of the crumbling of the myth of drone delivery. It, the hype is starting to fall apart. It's starting to fall apart because Amazon basically have got as much mileage as they can out of this. They're now being asked, well, come on, deliver on your promises. And they're going, well, we can't. So never mind. Let's move along. Oh, so that's where we're at. And I'll keep an eye on this story because it's got more legs. It will continue to go. I think we'll see more companies pulling out of spending millions in drone delivery development because it's just not going to work. It's not going to fly. The real answer to drone delivery are those little wheelie things at Milton Keynes in the UK where they trundle along the footpath. They trundle along the sidewalk with your pizzas or your fish and chips or whatever in them. And they pull up outside your door and you go, no, that's drone delivery. Nothing to do with flying. Those things will operate in the rain. Those things will operate in a gale force wind. And those things will operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week at very low cost. That, that is what drone delivery is all about. It's nothing to do with things flying over your head for good reason. So there we go. So from my perspective, though, this hasn't changed much. I have said for some time now, I have my own rules that I fly by. Never endanger people, never endanger property. Those are the two goals of all recreational model flying. Those are the things you'd always aspire to, absolute essentials. Now, all the other rules about where you can fly, when you can fly, all that sort of stuff, that's simply, as far as I'm concerned, advisory. Those are methods you can use to achieve the goals of never endangering people, never endangering property. So I'm a big boy. I'm 68 years old. I've been doing this for a lot longer than any bureaucrats or politicians on the planet. I think I know what I'm doing and my safety record is impeccable. So I can pretty much prove I know what I'm doing. So I'm not going to set aside my own strategies and safety guidelines in favor of some dreamt up by a bunch of politicians who are as dumb as a sack of rocks or some bureaucrats who are sitting behind a desk drinking coffee and have never actually done this. I'm going to follow my own safety rules. And that means that it, nothing changes for me. If my rules don't always coincide with the rules laid down by the regulators and the bureaucrats, well, I don't care. It's not my problem, it's their problem. Um, if, I if, I, if I injure somebody or if I break somebody's property, then I expect to be in big trouble. But I know that's not going to happen. So I'm going to carry on doing what I do absolutely safely, as I have done for 60 years. Am I going to put remote ID on any of my models? No, I'm not. Am I going to register if registration comes in? No, I'm not. Those things do not contribute to safety, the safety of my flying in any way at all. So they are a pointless expense, a pointless overhead, not necessary. And if a bureaucrat wants to argue with me, if a politician wants to argue with me, all I'll say to you is Amazon drone delivery, eh? <laughs> You're right. So there you go. That's my video for today. I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. You make it possible for me to indulge in these little bits of uh, analysis and commentary on the news of the day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.